Brooke Teague's attempt, which actually worked out well. So well, it's rumored that her and the cop are still together to this day. What? Brooke was pulled over after an officer oh, witnessed no, her Oh no, so this behind you worked? He folded? <sighs> around the road slightly. A telltale sign that the Imagine driver would- Imagine saying you met your wife because, like, she was doing some degenerate shit and, and you had to arrest her. But instead you fell in love. That is wild. Motherly activities, right? Was either intoxicated so or in need of help. So he swiftly pulled her over, only to be greeted in a surprising way. Hey, I'm Officer Smith. I'm go play Spark. Nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Smith. Um, I've never heard that before in Travis Stop. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> hey, so I'm just stopping you for improper lane use. He already folded just because she said his name. Sorry, I was on the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you too. And she got a baby daddy, bro. Yo, nah, this officer is at the low of the low. He's the low of the low. You. Okay. Yeah. Zachary? Yeah. How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite? Yes. <laughs> I won't lie to you, a Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had. Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. I don't really want to talk I to Zachary. I know you don't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. In just this what was first the time to the baby of conversation, daddy? two things become clear immediately. Brooke has definitely had more than one beer to drink, and how well she and the officer seem to be getting along already. Both points that will get increasingly more obvious as the footage continues. Yeah, I can smell it from across the car. She's like, I had one Miller lot. There's no, I wanted to say like, a Miller did that to you? Big Miller, 128 ounce Miller. Freaking bucket of Miller. <laughs> All right, where we at on it? Awesome. Brooke? Yes. Teague. Am I saying that right? Teague? Yes. Like baseball league. Teague like baseball league. That's yep. <laughs> <laughs> it helps people spell it because they never spell it correctly. Brooke then gets taken out for some sobriety tests, which take much longer than anticipated. <laughs> You're making yeah. Did she just snort, bro? Let me giggle. I'm sorry. <laughs> He makes me giggle too. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> if you can make a girl laugh and giggle, that's probably what was gonna do his head, man. I made her giggle. Okay, it's raps. Wrap it up, boys. Wrap it up, boys. I snore. I'm from Sorry. Huntsville. We're, we're supposed to be from Yo, Jake, you're wild, bro. What the hell? Why'd you say that? All right, stop laughing because you're making me laugh. I'm not. Right, seriously. <laughs> I'm giggling. I'm All right, sorry. This is a serious deal. All right. Yeah. Okay. You're smiling, I can't <laughs> help it. All right, sit, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, despite all the jokes, Brooke failed all the sobriety tests and was put under arrest. How much you've actually had a drink? I've had two Millers. Two Millers? It's two now, man. It went up by one. There's now? That's it? Yes, sir. You can call Mitchell, the manager. Okay. She said the same. You can call. I ain't taking no word. Okay. Well, hey, go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? After a search of her car, which turned up nothing but a loose car seat, she was driven back to the police station where the sparks continue to fly. I'm with you. Let's go over here. Oh my God, is there a dog? There is a dog. Where? He's over there. Over here. His name is Kolyak. Kolyak? That's my dog. Is that your dog? That's my dog. His name is Coach. That's my dog. I have three dogs. I have a dog. Of course, he's a dog guy, man. Wow. That's his, that's his yeah. live screen. Yeah, he definitely get no play. I don't think so. Where'd you go to high school? Yeah, yeah. This is like their first date, bro. I'm disgusted. Yeah. I'm not raised with Indiana. We're in Indiana. Not raised though. I was raised from Bloomfield. Really? Yeah. Note that despite the obvious chemistry, both Brooke and the officer have remained professional and are continuing to move on with the investigation. The officer had Brooke take a blood alcohol test where she blew 0.14%, almost twice the legal limit. A DUI probably wouldn't net her that bad of a sentence, though. Hey, how's it going? Hi, sorry. What's up? AYD would fold. No, I wouldn't, bro. Stop it, Chad. Listen, y'all can't do me like that, bro. I'm staying strong and firm. All right? I'm doing my job. You were coming from Dancers? The driver states that she's a stripper at a bar called Dancers, and that she was texting her boyfriend who was home with her kids. However, the officers noticed something off about the driver. Don't worry, her Aaron, we gonna get through her, slightly bro. slurred and her eyes were glazed over. There's a good chance this girl's been drinking. Oh, yeah, what, been what time did you get off with Dancers? 11. 11? It's an hour and a half away. You got off at 11? It's 10. <laughs> 
Yo, she's she's on a different planet, bro. She said I eleven. Really? Oh. Did you have anything to drink? While no, you're... I'm nineteen. You're nineteen. I cannot drink. I at the strip club, nothing. Nothing. No. You sure? Don't get on my eyelashes, bro. Oh, I... Wait, <laughs> bro said nothing about your eyelashes. Yo, she's acting high. High and drunk. You know when you high and drunk, that's not a good combination. Hurt your eyelashes? No, I wouldn't be surprised. But they falling off. From the light? Despite the girl's claims, the officers are fairly sure she's had at least something to drink last night, especially when she seems to forget. I drunk and horny. At the time, triple three is crazy. So they ask her to step out of the vehicle and perform a few sobriety tests. Well, oh, they say this. they say she a stripper too. Oh, that means she might. Yo, listen, I know some stripper friends, bro. They be saying like they good with like men and like manipulated men. So she's probably gonna use them tactics on the police officer, bro. You think they gonna fold? Let's see. <laughs> We're gonna start. I'm cold. We're gonna start right here. All right. Do you wear any? Do you wear any glasses or contacts? I do. You do? Are you wearing contacts right now? No. No. I'm okay. Cold. You're gonna. I, I mean, walk in the straight line, and I'll be good. Well, that's that's not even. I haven't even told you the exercise that I'm doing yet. So you gotta. I'm cold. Okay. You know I mean, just give me. Ten Look, minutes. y'all okay. already okay. folded. Okay. You wear the straight line. What do you want to do? Cough from. Hold on. I didn't tell you that's what we're gonna do yet. I know, but I know where the police is. Despite her enthusiasm to begin the tests. She doesn't exactly pass them with flying colors. And after losing her balance on the final nah. test, she <laughs> Yo, she quick walking, bro. What's she doing? <laughs> She's placed under arrest by the officers. But that's not where the story ends for her. On the way back to the patrol vehicle, she mentions that there are, in fact, weapons in her car. And her behavior starts to change drastically. Y'all can check me. I don't it's care a, if y'all are male, bro. We got, we, got, we got plenty of uh, female officers around. To do I'm that, so. good, bro. Check me. No, this is cracking it. She wants them to check her so bad so they can touch her body. Yo, you ain't slick. I'm here. I'm giving authorization to you. I'm not going to search you. Why not? I gave you authorization to. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, look, they're cute, I like men. Come on, just search What's me. Up? Well, the cops maintained that they couldn't search. They stay strong. I know y'all. Y'all would. Y'all be like, yeah, I got you. Let me search you real quick. Her. They did take the time to search her vehicle. Inside, they found multiple <laughs> guns, a large stack of cash. Though it was decided this was likely just tips from the bar. However, she was still charged with DUI and sentenced to nine months probation, despite also being underage. Naomi Fur. A Hooters waitress from Switzerland was still wearing her Halloween costume when cops pulled her over. It is not uncommon that DUI drivers try to bribe the police officer to avoid consequences. But Naomi certainly took it a bit too far. It all started when the officer checked the license plate and found out that not only the plates expired almost a year ago, but also Naomi had a suspended driver's license. I said your fake cut had scared me when I walked up. Oh. I forgot tomorrow's Halloween. I'm like, oh boy. I did you know your license was suspended? I apologize about that. Naomi tries to play it cool and tells the officer that she's just on her way to pick up her friend. But her outfit and the fake blood immediately tells a completely different story. Somebody should tell her she's not exactly the best liar. So where's the club where No shit, Sherlock. Pardon? Where's the club where Oh, from? that was from the other night. That was from like Friday, I think, or something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Do me a favor, hop out real quick. Yeah. Let's have all right, yo, Chad, do you think she's going to get away with it? Now that she stepped out, you think she's going to get away with it? We'll come right back over here so we don't get hit. I see. Yo, I've heard so, stories like, bro, pretty girls, like, they really do get privileged, bro. Get away with everything. Listen, tonight's not my first night doing this. Okay. Where are y'all really coming from tonight? Because your eyes are bloodshot and glossy. Your speech is slightly scared. I'm just very tired, that's all. There's alcohol coming up. Okay. Check your eyes. Do a couple exercises. Make sure you're okay. After a failed sobriety test, there was no <laughs> other option than to arrest Yo, her. For some reason, way. she just couldn't wrap her head around it and tried to negotiate with the cops. But I did everything what is her costume, did. though? Slutty. Yes, what is she going for? I can't have a DUI, please. I'll do everything. I literally, I promise. Sir, I'm from Switzerland. I can't have a DUI. Hey, yo, this is like a scene, bro. <laughs> 
please, sir, please. It's it's I'll do anything. I'll pick myself up, please, sir. I don't want to go out. Wait, whoa, whoa, it's, whoa, it's whoa, 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 Okay. Someone, please, sir. I don't want to go out it's, of the U.S. Please, it's, it's, please, sir. That's it's going to ruin my whole life. That, that does a DUI does not mean that you're going to up and be deported. Yes, because I'm from Switzerland. I don't, I'm on a green card. She tried to play the sympathy card, but when that didn't work, she upped her game. And this is the moment when desperate Naomi decides to make them a truly unusual offer. What's she going to do? <laughs> flash, bro? You, I saw I saw a clip of a girl who tried to flash the officer, like. That's not gonna work, bro. Do you do you have a pair of uh, shorts or something in here that we can put on oh, to please. cover you up a little bit? That jersey. I'll put that on her. Please, sir. Please. I'll take everything off. Please don't charge me. I don't want to go to jail. Please, sir. I don't, I don't oh, want to no, man. Please, sir. Not tonight. You're so please. sad, bro. She thinks she's gonna get away with this. I I'm gonna have somebody pick me up and drive me home. I promise. I'm, I'm gonna show you a little bit of decency and cover you up a little bit. You don't, That's crazy. You don't want to go into jail like that. Hold on. Yo, yo, yo. My heart, my heart, my left lung. Yuri, I appreciate that, my love. Yo. Hey, Yuri, listen. That clip fucking clipped. I can't lie. That clip slapped like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Yo. You know what I'm talking about, man. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, bro. W marketing, come on, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they don't, they don't know about it. They don't know about it, bro. They don't know about it. But yeah, appreciate the gifted. Hey, that's love. That's love. She's showing love. Show it. Show love, man. That's my boy, Yuri. That's my dog. That's my twin. I promise I'll have somebody drive me home. Wait, Yuri. Yo, 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 Yuri. If you have you been pulled over? If you've been pulled over, I'm watching this video, right? And it's like girls who are flirting with cops. If you've been pulled over, have you gotten away with like a altercation like that? Like, I'm just curious, you know what I'm saying? Please. We didn't do this. You put yourself in this situation. We're just a consequence of your decisions tonight, okay? I, I, I'm happy that you're going to jail and that you're not in a body bag or that you didn't kill a family driving up the road. I don't want to kill like, myself. Like, what you mean? I, I mean, like, you see, she's getting pulled over because she was drunk, right? Drunk driving. Like, you don't have to be drunk driving, but, like, have you gotten away with anything being pulled over? Or have you even been pulled over? I want to be in this situation. Okay. I really want to be dead. I really Calm don't down. want to be in this situation. Not even nah, now. she's being able to work on these cops who both went <laughs> she down to bad. No, never. Explaining the subs have you been pulled over, though? Like, subsequent procedures. Anyway, Naomi was placed in the back seat of a police vehicle while the officers do the crime going to do the time. That's they a found fact. a small whiskey bottle a and a can of hard seltzer. I can't lie. Some yeah. girls, they, they be getting away with a lot of like, you know, I've heard stories personally, like from friends, from family. If you're a pretty girl, you, you might as well use the privilege, man. I feel like dudes, you can't really do that. It don't matter how handsome you are. A female cop just gonna be like, yo, you dragging it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, they ain't folding. Which can't be said about this officer. Oh yeah, he he yeah, he's folding like a like a chair, bro. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> like, bro, look at him. He looks respectfully like he hasn't had any cooch in a very long forever. Who is left blushing in disbelief. Karina Armando was arrested for a DUI when driving home from a local Irish pub. Even before the officer initiated a traffic stop, Karina pulled over voluntarily by herself. Hi. The reason I'm stopping you, well, I, actually, I didn't stop you. Why did you stop? Let me ask you that. Okay. So, where are you coming from right now? She's coming from Thatcher. She's fine? Yeah, she's fine. From it still don't okay. fold, gang. Gotcha. All right. So you came straight from Thatcher's? So uh, this one is more valid. Like, this one's more valid, valid a reason to fold. The other girl? Hell no. I'm sorry. Karina immediately admitted she's been to a pub. The officer immediately proceeded to conduct a standardized field sobriety test. Seeing her struggle to step out of her car, it is... Bro, she, she was half naked in that hole. Standardized Yo, field see, sobriety she test. She put up her bra, right? Seeing her struggle to step out of her car it is arguable yeah, whether yeah, any yeah. sort She's of test is even necessary can you say the alphabet from the letter e to the letter p for me without saying it e through p look at her bro she can barely stand take her out of jail she going to jail tonight
Yo, if you could barely say the alphabet, that is crazy. The nice. main purpose of the alphabet test is to assess the ability to divide your attention between a mental task and a physical task. In this case, Karina is so clearly under the influence, the officer doesn't require her to stand still. It's not a surprise, Karina failed this test. Upon arriving at the police station, Karina's behavior slightly changed. It's almost as if she enjoys the interaction with officers. She is less cocky and begins to be flirtatious. Karina, we just gotta take some pictures. There's this great nice throwing that at. So we're gonna, Bro, what we're gonna take three pictures. Are you just gonna... Yep, I'm gonna have to do that every time. Like you said before, it's procedure. So I just gotta do this every time, all right? I don't think you're gonna fight me or anything like that, but it's what we gotta do. Hell no. All right. I'm not going she is so way out there, of her mind. And if you face just forward at that gray blob over there, or black blob. I'm not gonna lie, that, that, that little... Right, I'm not even gonna comment in there, Ma. Um, and we'll just tell you if we need you to adjust at all. So if you go ahead and look straight on at it for me until we get you to do the next one. That's it. Yes, that's it. Yep, so you come take a seat back over here. Don't cuff me back. My yeah. boy. Uh, this hand or this hand? Okay. One that's not struggling. So. All right. Here, I don't want to get it on your drawer. As things go on, her playfulness intensifies, and so does her attention to the officer. Tests. Do you understand these rights which I have just read to you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Never mind. No gas, Sally. Bro, I could have peeped that from a mile away. I spotted no gas since the the start. I am. Y'all fiending. My wife will appreciate that, actually. The officer then reads her rights and describes the process of taking a breath sample. He emphasizes that a refusal to provide a breath sample will lead to a charge on top of the DUI. Unfortunately for Karina, it seems to be the wrong time to ask her to make a logical decision. She refuses to provide a breath sample as she's clearly more focused on maintaining a deep eye contact with the officer. But clearly, it must have worked as officers allowed her to call her father to pick her up, as she will be released pending her first court appearance. Knowing she's going home tonight, Karina's mood only gets better. She proceeds to crack multiple jokes before- It worked. Oh, nah, it worked. They folded. They folded. They folded! Nah, he folded! Bum! Or making one of the younger police officers blush. A moment he will remember for quite some time, and the rest of the footage is just pure joy. Oh, so much trouble. Well, hopefully you could at least get to your bed and figure it out in the morning. Yeah. Hell yeah. He Why are you acting like you don't want to follow her yeah. to her bed? Feel free to use the handrail. America. Just take it slower right here. I my, fall up these my, stairs. My um, my pronouns are you as I. That was the weakest thing I've ever heard. This is what you be spouting when you're drunk? Say. All I gotta say is love is classy. Uh, let me just explain to you real quick. I will cry about them later. There's two yeah. tickets there because there's a court um, date, so I have to tell you. Hey. I know you. Yeah? Why is that? Oh, that meant I was... You mean in an endearing way? Yeah. Okay. Well, hi. <laughs> Yo, this is the man's only female interaction he gets, bro. Yeah. He happy as hell. You don't get it in that kind of way, so. It's always in that kind of way. Wow, Montville Police Station is kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, I wonder yeah. why. Attractive female. Karina was booked with driving while intoxicated, refusal of breath testing, reckless driving, careless driving, and failure to maintain lane. In the end, that First was pretty female sweet. touch in if five else, years. <laughs> at least she made this young cop's day. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> Walter, how to New Mexico State Police? Using for the stop. You're going 55 back there on, M on uh, MLK. Five? Yeah, 55. I was right behind you the whole yeah, time. This girl has no chance, bro. If the cop falls on this one. I mean, you just Honestly, I'm disappointed. Booked it. I've had a, I had a bad night. The girls that I thought that were my friends are not my friends. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Where are you coming from? Knockout. 
knockout. This girl doesn't seem to be having the best night, but that still doesn't explain why she was driving 25 miles an hour over the speed limit on a residential road. She also mentions that she came from a place called down, Knockouts, man. a Hi. gentleman's club that Hi, could dude. explain the sparkly outfit and why she was driving so erratically. Okay, you have your license? Like, you know, you're gonna tell me you're my crime, and then do some bullshit. Yeah. Here's my registration. Uh, you ain't gonna get th those. Are do you have a jacket tears, or something bro. that you could put on? You ain't gonna get no pity, no sympathy from the, the cop. Do you have a jacket or anything? A jacket? Yeah, like in the car. No, why? Because I'm gonna have, ask you to step out that way we can talk out here. I don't have anything. The girl seems to be upset about a disagreement with her friends back at the bar, but this officer isn't buying it. There's many examples of suspects pretending to be sad or distressed during a traffic stop to try and get sympathy from the cops and walk away with a lighter sentence. This can work in some circumstances, but it doesn't excuse driving at almost twice the speed limit. But this doesn't stop the girl from trying after she steps out of the car. Okay. Here's my registration and I can give my progressive, um, it just sucks, like, yeah. a me... tells me that she's my friend and she's not. Okay. Yo, how old do you think this woman is, bro? That she's crying over this BS, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is some high school shit. Like, how you crying? My friend is really my friend. Right, let's go back over here. I'm moving like next weekend. And my if not, she already dirty, bro. Friend said that she's my friend, but she's not. Yeah. Can you stand up street? Yeah. <laughs> womp, womp. Right. So how much alcohol you consumed? No, I haven't. Nothing. I smoke weed. I have my my medical um, card, if you want to see it, mm -hmm. I have that. But I mean, I've been smoking because I'm mad. Yeah, you're mad. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Well, the Frank Here, let, let, just, just try to calm down a little bit. So you're gonna, you say that you haven't consumed no alcohol. Just be honest with me. How much alcohol? Work at knockouts. Honestly, the way I feel, because the girl, she went behind my back. You know what I mean? No matter how hard the cop tries to keep the girl on topic, she keeps breaking down and talking about her friendship issues. After some more pressing by the officer, she admits to smoking marijuana and alcohol back at the club. But she keeps trying to I'm excuse- I'm saying, bro, high and drunk is a deadly combination, bro. Use it by saying she's having a rough night, and that's her way of dealing with it. Unfortunately for her, though, the officer needs her to focus, which she seems to be having a tough time doing. The blur is not blurring. <laughs> the blur is not blurring, bruh. We can see her. <laughs> ...throughout the sobriety tests. All right, just wait right here. I'm going to move my unit back just just a little bit. And uh, I got two more tests to administer. You feel okay walking in those shoes? I mean, I'm just upset. That's it. You're just upset? I'm just upset. So, like, <laughs> so Miss Miss Ramos, my, my main concern is just that you're safe to drive, okay? Ob I obviously, it. you were no, I truly get it. traveling at a high rate of speed up. I have MLK. three kids. Okay. My oh. baby daddy just died. Oh, I'm sorry to hear my that. My best friend just said that. It's just a lot. Her life is miserable. Unfortunately for the girl, though, okay. complaining to the officer didn't seem to sober her up at all, and she failed all three of her sobriety tests. So all that was left was for her to be arrested, a fitting end for what appeared to be a pretty rough uh, night for her. She's definitely right. depressed. So now. at this point, you're going to be placed under arrest for she's DWI driving while on from some toxic liquor and or drugs. Just face me real quick. What's in your mouth? Nothing. Open it. Lift up your tongue. All right. So on my watch, 0213, okay? 18 year old Skylar Fluss is on a completely different level, going so far as to post this video to thousands of people bragging about how she got away with a DUI. I got out of a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> Skylar was pulled over after an officer saw her weaving around the road in a way that suggested she might not have been completely sober. But according to her video, she claims that using her flirtatious and quick wit, she managed she to trick the officer and get away with a warning. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a f***ing warning and gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee or lunch. He was hot, so I'm getting lunch with him tomorrow. If her story is true, then the officer would be in serious trouble. But luckily, the officer in question recorded it, bro. Oh, is she 18? How old is the cop? Recorded the entire interaction legal, on his weird. body cam, and the video tells a completely different story. Oh. Hi. 
My name's Deputy Storm in the Jersey County. Sh oh, she was lying. Watch, 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 watch. Pre A. She was lying like shit, bro. Look, look, look. This is the this is the video apparently. Sheriff's office. I pulled you over because you were weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming? Stop from? the cap. You got a body cam? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, she, God. she lying. We about to see. Okay. So I was like crying and like I'm really. Sorry. Okay. Were you were you on your phone and stuff too? I was trying to call him to get a hold of him because my heart. Hurts okay. So bad. Well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol. But if you're on your phone. Have you been drinking or anything tonight? If you're on your no, phone. Okay. The deputy then does give Skylar a card with the sheriff department's information on it, but it didn't include his personal number and it didn't come with an invitation to dinner. Stop the cap. So she, she been lying. She been lying. Oh, what you want to gain? I hate attention seekers, man. I figure you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? So I'm just going to give you a warning. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure you're okay. You were weaving a little bit, and I just want to make sure you're okay to operate the motor vehicle, and I believe you are. She in her own um, world. My information for La La Land, the Lulu Land. Lulu on the back, wherever you're headed, uh, get there safely, and I'm sorry you're having a bad night. Yeah, I'm just I'm just I'm Okay. Sorry. No, you're, you're fine. Yeah, well, no, you don't need to apologize. I mean, you were weaving a Yo, little bit with no stop traffic. stop crying. Back. I just want to make sure you're Fake okay. Tears. That's all. Skyler's video doesn't just contain disgusting footage of her laughing and bragging about exploiting this officer's kindness, but also states that she blew a 3.8 on the breathalyzer, ignoring that she wasn't even tested in the first place. The legal limit is only around 0.8 and already makes driving dangerous. But a reading of 3.8 would imply Skyler was not only blackout drunk, but close to death, as at what a level day? of 4.0, respiratory failure is likely. But this doesn't mean Skylar was lying about being drunk underage. Videos were later discovered of her chugging tequila from the- Yo, 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 internet footprint is definitely a thing, bro. I'm just letting y'all know this, man. This is case in point right here, so y'all stay safe. Bottle and acting drunk at a party just hours before she was caught driving. Booter After she was confronted man. with this, Fatherless. Skylar confessed and admitted to everything. I ended up getting a little too intoxicated. Um, I was taking shots all night, and I decided to make the dumb decision to get into my car and drive. She also admitted that the officer never asked her out. That was just a lie for social media attention. Regardless uh, of her confession, though, her. no further action was taken against her or the officer who Little failed to test her. Little did the officer know that this encounter was about to become one of the most hilarious moments of his career. You're going to put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. It all began quite uneventfully as the officer checked Jenna's license and registration. He inquired about the reason behind her lane swerving without using signals. In response, Jenna remained remarkably composed and answered with brutal honesty. Maybe that was a side effect of the one beer she had drunk earlier. Went over the line. I will tell you I don't ever signal. Okay. Well, you... So that is an honest thing, but okay. I don't ever signal. Uh, there's a lane in the car. How much did you drink today? Uh, earlier. How much was, how much was there? Like a beer earlier. Just one beer? About a beer. About a beer? About a beer. So the, was, it, was it one beer or was it more than one beer? About a beer. Aside from the vague beer count, Jenna was Where's my money, bro? You're not getting no money, bro. Answering his questions as if she were completely innocent. She even switched to a higher pitched voice, a common sign of women's attraction. Spe yeah, I can't lie. Yo, girls be doing that, bro. If a girl, like, acts all cutesy and submissive and higher tone pitch he likes you game speaking with a higher voice pitch when talking to men can be a tool to reduce the amount of mating effort that women expend to attract and retain preferred mates in addition to that jenna kept smiling at the officer's face throughout the whole reaction test it's reasonable to suggest that the officer and jenna appeared to have a notable chemistry Interestingly, the subtle hints of attraction seemed to intensify between them as they continued their interaction. So happy. Oh, sorry. I literally feel like I have a. Yeah, you do. Yeah, hair. you do. And it's bothering me. Thank it you. Out. Nah, she ain't sleeping. Right? She no. did that show on purpose. Why not? I was once before. Yeah? Yeah, no, no more. What's Life. The touch Life of the happens. hair is crazy. Sometimes it's just. Fly out of love. This doesn't work out. How old are you? How, how do you think I am? I mean, you look kind of young. Okay. Thank you. I'm not young. 42? Well, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 50. Until this point, Jenna and the officer remained within acceptable boundaries. However, the situation... Is he going to follow, chat? Do you think he's going to follow, bro? 
As a cop, you can't fold under pressure, bro. Come on, man. And took a significant turn when it was time not to, to this, collect though, not to this level, sample. bro. Maybe if it was Beyonce. Right now, the machine, right now the machine says, "Please blow until tone stops." Let me know if you want to give me two breath samples. Where should I blow? What's that? Where should I blow? You can blow this. No, I'm playing. 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. Ah, chill, 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 chill. Well, if you want to, you just tell. Okay, so right here's a bonus <laughs> of my face. We need a celebrities video next. I know, right? Celebrities getting pulled over. What you're gonna do is you take a deep breath and blow like a balloon. Don't stop blowing until I tell you to. You're gonna put it in my mouth. I'll put it in your mouth. Oh, this is interesting. Interesting, right? Tell me when. Whenever you're ready. Take a deep breath and blow. Like, like, like a balloon. Harder. Harder. Okay, there you go. Okay. Blow constantly like a balloon. Like blow, like blow up a balloon, you know, you know big Why is it so balloon? awkward to watch, bro? Yeah, my mind and it seems weird. This is like a, one of those scenes I like you usually skip over. You know what I'm saying? Okay, don't let it be weird. Don't let it be weird. <laughs> Take a deep breath and blow harder. Yo, blow. by saying that you made it weird, I can't lie, buddy. Harder, harder, harder. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't change your flow. Help you change your flow. Take a deep breath in your lungs and blow harder. <laughs> you almost, you almost twice Why do you make it weird, bro? You're not wrong. No, I'm not, because I heard you's right. Take the breath and blow. <laughs> harder, harder. Yeah, these fa yo, these phrases, I've heard them before. You change the flow, bro. If I if I just if the screen was black, and you just heard these sounds. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you did, because the machine actually knows. So, deep breath, like. That's fine. I'm trying. I know. I know you don't. Know what you ask. Hard breath. Hard. She's doing it on purpose, harder. though, for real. Keep that tone going. Harder. Bro, nope. keep that tongue going. It's crazy. No, no, that can't be a part of this shit, bro. No, no, it can be. There's no way, bro. There's no way. More? Nope. You keep stopping. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jenna. You got this. Take a deep breath and blow. Nah, he's having fun with it. He knows what he's doing. What, what am I say? Okay. Look, he's laughing. It's working. Okay, no, he's folding. <laughs> He folding, bro. Look. Nope, not hard enough. <laughs> Good. Oh, they're having fun. Harder. Yo, imagine this is how you met your mother, bro. Harder. Oh, nope. Hard. Do you hear that tone? You don't, do you? Yeah, that's because you're not blowing hard enough. <laughs> Take deep breath. One big breath and blow hard. Top of due to fail no not November. <laughs> hard. Nope. Keep going. Nope. You here, here. Maybe maybe if you stand up. Let's stand up, Jenna. I don't think that's gonna work. It might. You never know. We'll try it. Take a deep breath and blow hard. Why they go blow, bro? Harder. You're not you're not blowing because the Yeah, no. I'm blowing. You're not blowing a feather off your hand. Blow a balloon up. A nice big breath. I'm doing my best for you. Thank you. Keep up. No. Nah, don't blow suck is crazy. Don't blow suck is why. Don't, yeah. Nope. Hey, hey, Jenna. Here. You see me. Is she sucking on that shit instead of blowing? Oh, yeah. Right. So take a deep breath and like this. Just keep, just like that. Let's try that one. Ready and go. Harder. Nope, harder. I'm going harder. Harder, nope. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Let me speed this up. Trying my hardest for you. Thank you. Jenna's giggles and open expressions of attraction towards Officer Lefebvre make it evident that she is finding it difficult to control herself. She becomes increasingly forward. I'm gonna be like, can you demonstrate on me real quick? Yo, Dragon, you... Ah, uh, that's why you can't be a cop, man dropping suggestive remarks about the breath sampling method. However, Officer Lefebvre remains composed and unresponsive to her advances. He even skillfully dodges an almost direct invitation for a date. What's that? Yeah, we may have one on a date tomorrow. A date tomorrow? Well, you're gonna be in jail, girl. Oh, never mind. He's a king. He's a king. He's a king. 
He's a king. Nah, he made her think, yo, that her wrist was working. Nah, buddy. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't the whole time. Yo, he was just playing you. <laughs> I got, I got fired. No, I can't. I, 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 I can't be taking you home. Jenna's hopes were dashed, and she had to spend a night in jail. That's crazy. Given the fact that Officer Lafave is widely recognized as a seasoned pro w among police man. officers, any potential seduction techniques were unlikely to work on him. She was caught trying to transport two illegal immigrants over the Mexican. Wait, 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 is this mom, mom and daughter? Mom and daughter? I see where she get her look from. Kind of look like a. Nah, I ain't gonna say border, and like. as soon as everything started to fall apart, she decided to try seducing the officer. Ah, I'll still Did stay I strong, though. Okay? I'll stay I'm strong. Looking at your eyes. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What, what? I'm looking at your eyes. Why? Because you look pretty handsome. As soon as the officer realizes something might be up with the IDs, Lydia starts to smile and stare directly at his eyes Zip it before up. telling him how handsome he is. Obviously, this is just a trick to try and get out of the position she's put herself in. A trick that isn't going to work on this officer. Estos documentos por un tiempo. They probably got a method okay. going on. They'll probably like each other, yo, just flirt with the cop, man. We're gonna get away with it. Just show them the cha Put the cha out and we good. <laughs> After running the woman's driver's licenses through the national database, the officer discovers that the ID numbers return completely wrong results, meaning that both of them are totally fake. It's later discovered that the two women with Lydia in the car are both illegal immigrants from El Salvador. What's worse is that they were being transported through a service that often forces women into debt bondage, where the people who transported them will make them pay off their debt through forced labor and sex work. So while Lydia so, was arrested, so, 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 like. L but W at the end of the day, like they kind of saved them. Okay, listen, hey, that was hey, good cops, man. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. And the two women sent back over the border, they may have been saved from years of horrible treatment and abuse. One thing's for sure, though, Lydia's attempt at flirting is a blessing. We don't know it's a blessing, bro. But Kelly Barton made it a little yeah. easier for the cops. Not only was she seen crashing into a lamppost while transporting a special needs patient, what? but when police arrived, she was looking a little worse for wear. Kelly? Yes? How are you doing? Good. Kelly admits that she had too much to drink that evening, but doesn't admit to driving, despite it being her job. Unfortunately for her though, security camera footage from the gas station proves that she was in fact behind the wheel, Why and is, she is now part facing of charges video? of both DUI and neglect Yo, due to the yeah, responsibility no she carried while driving anything, with the like, patient. In no way she's getting away with nothing, I'm sorry Big Bertha. But as an ambulance pulls up to perform some tests on her, Kelly reveals that she has another trick up her sleeve. In begins repeatedly flirting with all of the officers at the scene. Look at your hands. Do you want the light squad to check you, ma'am? Yeah. Okay. Let them do what they got to do. Those looking Come lost, on, bro. We need to get out of here. Hey, hey. <laughs> I want the little young boys. Ask me how I'm feeling. Let them oh, hey. Nah, bro. I'm running. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. What I would do to you with your blue eyes. So let me check your blood sugar. Okay. Right Look at him. I would do him. Imagine the roles were reversed and the male started saying that to a female cop. Yo, lock his ass up, boy. You going to jail. In a way that he won't eat me. Hey, look. He's he grits, man. Tough he won't, right? Don't let me get it. After multiple tests, it's clear to the officers that Kelly was way over the legal limit and is arrested for driving while intoxicated. And after struggling to get her into the police vehicle, she's sent on her way to the police station. But if you think Kelly was bold for talking to cops like that, at least not compared to that of Amelia Bassoon, who tried everything she could to seduce the detectives and get away with murder. Amelia was arrested in connection with the murders of Cindy and Sean Stack. They think she helped her husband cover up the crime, but she will do everything she can to get away with it, including flirting with the detectives. But while this case started, 
started in a playful manner, it quickly evolved into one of the most intense interrogations of all time. They're both, mm. they're both dead. I didn't do anything. The detective starts by reading Amelia. Very convincing, man. Her rights and getting some basic information. Am I like getting arrested or something for something? Or? I'm gonna explain it to you. Yeah, which way don't you okay? Just normally when this starts is like someone getting in trouble or arrested or something. Well, we just, like I said, we want to be able to talk to you. Already, it's obvious that Amelia is making her voice high-pitched and speaking in a timid tone of voice. Yeah, she just sound like a dumb ass, bro. While this could just be what she sounds like normally, other footage of her suggests otherwise. I, I don't want to press charges, but I, I would like a no contact order. I can do that. Okay. Her change in tone could also be a reaction to being in a stressful and uncomfortable situation. But as the interrogation continues, she begins to show more and more of these flirtatious signs. What happened with Josh? Did you she say sound that? annoying? Yeah, she sound annoying, bro. Yeah, so in December, he, um, we went bowling. Okay. Oh yeah, she's definitely pulling on that, bro. She put on that that innocent, stupid girl act, man. That girls be doing, bro. Clear as day. The bullet went around the bone and around the artery, wow. through and through. Jeez, that's lucky. I know he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys been married? Oh, she playing oh, with her hair. In September. Oh, okay. Here, Amelia gathers her hair and moves it all to the right-hand side, exposing her neck on the left. The neck carries the jugular, an important and vulnerable part of the body that many people will make an effort to protect. However, when someone feels comfortable or safe around someone, they're oh, likely to expose their neck. This is a little gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is commentating people on some wrist tips, bruh. Neck by tilting their head or moving their hair to the side, suggesting attraction or at least the desire to show it. All right. So, Amelia, I can tell you the reason why we're here today is because of that issue with the bank okay okay all right does that surprise you um for this type of situation yeah okay. like this intense i mean i got in trouble at work which makes sense but i'm just confused about this well let's let's walk through it a little bit okay um let's okay. walk through that and see how maybe we came here today all right mm -hmm. and find out if this was just a misunderstanding or what, okay. The story ended with Cindy and Sean dead, but started with an equally disgusting crime. Amelia was an employee at Chase Bank and exploited her position to steal $50,000 from a dementia-ridden man. She wrote two checks from his account and her husband Josh deposited them in his accounts. When Cindy and Sean started asking questions, Josh purchased a gun and shot the pair in their own apartment. This interrogation is not only to uncover the details behind the theft, but also to determine what part she played in the killings. So how did you, what happened with this write-up? So, I mean, you, had you been a banker for him for a while? I mean... Yeah, so I've been his banker since I moved here. So, mm -hmm. so what happened with these checks? Um, nothing. You just, I should to call them and have the record over global security. Mm -hmm. So when they came in, they pulled like call logs, they pulled like cameras, just to make sure like little signature files. Because I mean, it's still federal, it's the bank. So mm -hmm. they wanted to make sure that I wasn't- You get to the point, like, Amelia. Mm -hmm. When you talk to Gerald, I mean, <laughs> how, how did he appear to you? Is he a young guy, old guy? He's old. Oh, well, how did he appear to you when you talked to him? He's okay. He was okay? Yeah. Did you ever have any issues when you, when you talked to him about remembering things or anything like that? Like I know like a little about himself, like mm -hmm. he had brain surgery. Mm -hmm. Um. But for the most part, he remembers things I don't think he would get, really. He just, other than that, he's... Okay. Yeah, nice guy. Amelia does her best to seem open and honest here, but as soon as she finishes up talking, she brings her shoulders up, hunches over slightly, and crosses her... This really psychoanalyzing, bro. This is a cool job, man. ...her arms. All you know, movements that, do that, that are bro. done to protect vital parts of the body and are obvious tells that someone feels uncomfortable. Mm. These signs only become more apparent as the interview continues. What did he have you do? Like, how did he, what did he ask for? Nothing, it's just he put, put two checks and $25,000 each. Mm -hmm. And that was it. The grandson came and picked him up. And... The grandson came and picked him up? Mm -hmm. It was either the day before or the day after. Mm -hmm. I opened up an account for him. Oh, so he must well, have just deposited those giving, checks into the account. Um, I think your best bet right now is to be completely honest with us, okay? okay. So let me, let me, let's go on a little bit more, okay? The truth is going to be the best thing right now. Okay? Mm -hmm. This happened in May? Mm -hmm. In my write-up for work? In May. 
Is the account still open? The grandfather? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Amelia. And the detective takes this as an opportunity to press her even further. I think you need to start understanding the severity of the situation, right? Because mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if you really do, all right? And I think you need to start understanding that how this interview goes and where, what, you know, what decisions you make here are going to affect your life for a long, long, long time. I think you think you're going to be like, oh, don't let her out. I think that you had this all planned out, and I think you, and again, not to say it in a bad way, but this is what we do. Mm-hmm. Okay, when we make mistakes, we figure things out and go, okay, all right, there's a lot more going on here, all right? And you know whose name is all over this right now? You and mm. Joshua, okay? Mm-hmm. You need to start thinking real hard and real fast, okay? Who who is involved in this and what happened, okay? okay. That's all I know. Okay. Things got out of hand, okay? This got out of hand. I think what happened was Cindy was asking you for this money back and you didn't have it. And there's there's some issues there, okay? Sometimes, again, when we make a mistake, we do something wrong and things the ball gets rolling and we can't stop it. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Okay? Listen, you have your whole life ahead of you. I know. You have a seven-year-old son. You have an obligation. Seven-year-old son? Yo, look what you did to your seven-year-old son, bro. To him. Mm-hmm. So whatever happened beyond this, we need to know. Because if, if you want to keep going with what you're telling us, okay, mm-hmm. then we're going to have to go on that, all right? And you have to understand. Yeah. Okay. okay. So somebody did something, we need to know now. Talking about her son obviously strikes a chord with Amelia. And as interrogations are all about exploiting emotions to extract the truth, the detective jumps on this to make her as vulnerable as possible. Did Josh put you up to this? No. Hey, hey this is the stuff we need to know. Check in. How is my sixth favorite light skin doing? I forgot to add Nathan Xavier to the list, but hey, I still love my pookies. Listen, and if he put you up to it, he put you up to it. Kiss okay. mark, kiss Again, mark. Like Say it back said, I'm coming I think for. you're kind of at this crossroads right now, okay? You've got Josh. I don't like you, bro. Your husband, okay? I don't like you, bro. Have Julian. Baby, you I don't like you, bro. You got a picture not being a Me, we got beef, bro. Think about that for a second. Think about being put somewhere very far away from him, and the only way you're going to have contact with him is to Nah, bro. Nah, it's not love. It's not love. you pictures in jail, in prison, of your little boy growing up. That's your future. How did I go down to sick? I don't know the severity of what he did. What did he do? But he, I mean, he knows the relationship that I have with Mr. Stack. He knows that. I mean, I would take him food, like... Listen to me. So at a point, it would, it would, he would get upset with Yo, me this that, interrogator like, is that I, like, I can't kind of act with my customers. This job He's, requires a specific level. This job requires a specific level of skill, man. Gotta dig the tooth out of her and he's doing good. He has no family. Well, I mean, I talked to him because, you know, he's my husband. I talked to him. Did Josh say that you you, you, you kind of were owed this money because you were taking care of this guy? <laughs> I don't know if he said that, but... Something like that? What did he tell you? I don't know. The water works. Here they I come. They got him. I didn't do anything. Okay. We need to know. Well, then tell us, okay? <laughs> tell us. They're both dead. What? Yeah, they're dead. So now we really need to talk. At this point, all of the games that Amelia was playing have gone out the window. Whether she's innocent or not, she's now being accused of aiding a murderer and is faced with losing her job, house, and a seven-year-old son. So, understandably, she's starting to get incredibly scared. I do not want to go to jail. I don't. I don't. Like, if I get fired, okay, let me get fired at work, but I don't want to go to jail. I didn't do anything. I didn't. I didn't plan nah, like, anything. Hey, why do you I didn't smash him? Bro, anything. Ted, what are you talking Just, about, bro? I didn't do anything. I don't well, want to go to again. jail. From here, the detectives try to capitalize on this, using her vulnerable state to try and extract as much information as possible from her. But Amelia asserts that she's only told the truth throughout the entire interrogation. Stop the cap. Come on now. She didn't know Cindy and Sean were dead, and she had nothing to do with their murders. But here is where the interrogation takes a massive turn. These detectives have now been talking to her for over two hours, and they've executed this style of interrogation almost perfectly. But for the last well, few back, hours, the they've just been going around in circles to no avail. So instead, yeah, you're, you're they leave the room I'm not gonna lie, you're a meat rider. You're a meat rider. To discuss yeah, a new you're approach. A meat Fuck you. And that's when detective number three enters with blankets and a kind, apologetic tone. Hey. You dragging your meat rider too. You need to get off from underneath this big time. 
Mm-hmm. Did they tell you who they work for? Yeah. Yeah, we're on the side of it, so. No. And you, they want you to be a witness, not a suspect. And that's why I want to talk to them, because I, I just don't want to be involved in any of this. Like, okay. I don't want any part of this. I want to be able to go home. Okay. Yes. Entering like this after such a stressful experience with the other detectives will set Amelia's mind at ease and subconsciously enforce the idea that he isn't a threat. At the start of the interrogation, Amelia was trying to seduce the detectives in an attempt to get better treatment and hopefully even a lighter sentence. So if the third detective plays into this by treating her kindly and playing her game, maybe he'll have a chance of finding out what really happened. In these cases, you can't lie. Mm-hmm. You can't, which, which means holding something back, mm-hmm. telling a partial truth, mm-hmm. or just flat out lying. Mm-hmm. That is accessory. You're protecting someone. And I'm telling you right now, you don't need to do that. Okay. If you know what happened, mm-hmm. tell me. Man, spill the juices. You got going. All oh, the comfort gave. Ah, oh, yo, this is the method, bro. You make her feel all, you know trustworthy you know nice and comforted so you can get a truth bruh what he did don't you have to say anything no he just told me if you say anything then okay. like if you because i mean i'm not stupid okay but eventually he's he happen. no he didn't tell me that he killed anybody or that he was going but you know that he was going over there i knew that he was going over there what day he told me he's like he's like don't worry about what i'm doing i'll take care of it talking about them though i'm guessing so because that's just what he <sighs> keeps saying <sighs> Your importance is in details, not in vagueness. They told me I'm going to jail regardless. Well, I, that the the, uh, the fraud part may be, but that's that's nothing. That is nothing compared to these charges. Yeah, David, you're yeah. for first to murder. Murder. If I say all of these things, will I get in trouble? If you don't say any of these things, you're definitely going to get in trouble. But that, that's this is where I'm scared. If I say these things, like well, I I didn't do any of this. Put it this way: if you protect him and you don't tell us everything, okay. then you're part of the crime. Amelia is now met with a harsh dilemma. She has to either gamble that the detectives never connect her to the crime and face felony charges herself, or fess up and snitch to the police, likely sending her husband to jail for the rest of his okay, life. Buddy. This is her last chance to make the right decision, or she'll never see her son again. Life in prison, nah, for the week. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I let her know she wanted to know. She went with her dad to the bank and she looked at the transaction history and she wanted to know what the checks were. So I can't tell her much. Anyway, long story short, long story short, she folded. 